Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for December 29th, 2021. The character of the silent and the mod of our sealed deck. Craft a deck from 30 random cards. Red cards, red cards now appear in rewards and shops. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. I see Vorpal here at 13.32. That's a pretty good score. Um, I am playing a little later than I usually do. Let's review the score for yesterday. I ended up being 8th at the end of the day. I'm very happy with that score. Um, thanks everybody for all the comments. Hooper, not far behind. Um, I believe his score was there yesterday as well. As well. I want to give a special shout out to Ben who left a comment on my video yesterday. His score didn't register, but I think he got in the 1776 range. And the way he did it, he did go for Popper, which I don't think I could have really done. Um, and he went for a true infant deck, and then he also got one extra elite yesterday with the um, uh, Deadly Events modifier. I only had 12 elites total, he had 13. So so that, I think, allowed him to get a pretty good score. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Eighth place is, is pretty good. All right, let's move back to today's run. So sealed deck, red and green cards. I am going to try to go for Popper unless I see After Image, because if I see After Image, then I only, all I need is another Juggernaut, and this will be a lot of fun. So Popper until After Image. So I see a perfected strike there, but I don't have enough other strike cards, so that's that's not going to be a strategy. I'm trying to think. I always avoid um, discard decks, but uh, let's see. I feel like there are a bunch of discard synergies here. So I see Tactician, Reflex, Dagger Throw, Calculated Gamble, Acrobatics, Sneaky Strike for damage. Yeah, I think this could be a pretty good discard synergy deck. I don't think I'll go for the Highlander or the, the collector bonuses, even though there are a few collectors that are offered here. The problem is uh, this card center deck only works with green cards, so red cards might make that difficult. But you know what? Because I always avoid it, I think it's worth a try, especially because yesterday's run was so good. So I, I can afford <laughs> not having a great run if it doesn't work out. Let's try that. So let's take Sneaky Strike, Acrobatics, Tactician, Reflex, Calculate Gamble. And then Dagger Throw. Okay, so those are all the cards that, all the unique cards that allow me to discard things. And then I can choose four remaining cards. Because I have Acrobatics, I wouldn't mind Slice for some damage. And then in case I cannot play this Sneaky Strike, maybe some other damage cards. Headbutt is fine. Probably don't need Infernal Blade. Maybe Clothesline. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Okay, so maybe then... Actually, right, I just realized that all of the cards I picked are all offensive cards. Wait, where are my defenses? Ugh. This this sealed deck doesn't have any defenses except for the backflip, right? Wow. That is that is rough. Yeah, well, okay, I have to take the backflip then. Um, and then I hope to, I have to hope to pick up any defensive cards I get. Uh, that is that that might be tough. Now I'm thinking maybe the discard synergy deck is the right way to go because that way I can sort of deal a near infinite with especially with the tactician. Um, do I want flechettes? Do I have enough skills? No, not not enough for it to be worth it. Uh, maybe Sucker Punch for Weakness or Clothesline. I think I'll go with the Sucker Punch for Weakness. And then as my last card, really not sure. Maybe, maybe the Flying Knee. Okay, all right. This is a weird deck. So basically, I picked up six cards that will help me get through, uh, create a discard synergy deck. And then uh, the backflip is the only defensive card, and then the rest is offense. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll have to rely on Terminal to carry me at least through Act 1 until I get some good defensive cards. All right, two elite paths. If I start on the left up until this point, it's the same path. And then going left here gives me two extra question marks. On the right, it's just one question mark, although I do also have a shop. And up until this point, I'll get just three question marks. Plus, I could go for the shop. Let's see if any of those question marks give me gold, and then I might go for that shop. All right, so here I think I'll do Calculate Gamble right away. Well, let me do Dagger Throw first. Uh, sneaky Strike is perfect. Let's get rid of the Tactician, then do Sneaky Strike. Oh, I didn't realize. For some reason, I thought the Sneaky Strike would deal enough damage to kill. Let's do Slice, Sucker Punch, Calculate Gamble. Okay, and then I can do Flying Knee, Dagger Throw, and that's it. Okay. Master will stab Tactician. Another, well, I can't, I, I shouldn't go for the collective, uh, for collective bonuses, not in a in a run where I have two cards available. Another Tactician would be nice. I think I'll go for the Master with Stab and just hope I don't take any damage or any Curses that deal damage. So here I think I'll upgrade the Sneaky Strike just because it's my best attack damage. And then maybe next I'll upgrade the Tactician. 
All right, upgrade the tech. Okay, well, there it is. And I don't think I'll go for the shop here. I just don't have enough gold. I could maybe afford a card or two. I don't think it'll be worth it. Uh, let's do slice uh, acrobatics, get rid of the reflex, then do a free sneak. Oh, I forgot the reflex is upgraded, right? Yeah, uh, well, not upgraded. Version 2.2 .2 makes it me draw two cards rather than one. I forgot about that. Okay, uh, let's do fly knee. And it's really embarrassing that I forgot about that because version 2.2 .2 has been up since last year. Oh, yeah, a week ago we passed the one year anniversary of version 2.2. All right, Battletrans Skewer, Swarp Rank. I think Battletrans would really hurt me here because I'm, I'm relying on card draw. Maybe Skewer for some damage. I really was hoping for defensive cards. All right. I got four cards upgraded before act, uh, Floor 5. That's that's pretty neat. Should I upgrade the Reflex? No, let me upgrade the Calculate Gamble because I rely on this card, so I don't want it to exhaust. All right, Lagavulin. Is there any reason to wait or should I just wake him up here? I don't think there's a reason to wait. Let's just wake him. Let's do Master Will Stab, Slice, then Dagger Throw, get rid of the Reflex. All right, I got Sneaky Strike, and then let's do Calculate Gamble and hope I'll get another Sneaky Strike. Uh, nope, but I can get rid of the Tactician, Masterful Stab, Dagger Throw, the Reflex, Slice, Sneaky Strike again. Look at that. All right, and then, um, yeah, might as well do Sucker Punch and Skewer. I only need 13 damage next turn. That seems very doable. Uh, with a skewer. Awesome. All right, that was a really nice, really nice run. Uh, deflect Havoc or Sneaky Strike. I see the problem with this deck is I can't let it grow too large, but I, I can take a deflect. And I'm about lightning. I'm pick up, choose a skill set, come with this card in your hand. I feel like that should be a calculated gamble in case I get a bad draw. Acrobatics would also be a good, a good choice. Actually, acrobatics might be better. Let me take the acrobatics, and I just need to upgrade that. All right, Jawworm. Yeah, because now, well, let's do Slice first. I can Acrobatics Detectician. And then Masterful Stab. Uh, Skewer is 28. Yep, that's enough to kill. Okay, Bouncing Flash, Headbutt, Seeing Red. Uh, maybe Seeing Red. Still might fight the Gremlin Knob, right? Uh, but yeah, fine. I'm really worried about the Guardian. I need way more defensive cards to be able to handle it. I wonder if I should turn right. Because that way I'll get a shop. And I might, no, no, let's let's maximize crush more rooms. I just hope that I'll get some good defensive cards. So Defect has access to some nice defensive cards. So that's going to be the hope. Acrobatics, get rid of this. Seeing red, sneaky strike for free, masterful stab. Dagger throw. And then flying knee. Okay. I guess I don't have AOE damage, um, which hopefully should be fine. Get rid of this. Sneaky strike kills one of them. And then masterful stab kills the other. Okay. Skewer, Warcry, Tools of the Trade. Well, I said I was not going to go for the pop, or I was going to go for the pop modifier. Tools of the Trade is tempting. Let's take the Warcry, sure. All right, Tanks and Rod, one of you lose HP, lose one less. Very nice. Okay, Sentries. Okay, didn't get the Grammar Knob. That's good. So let's start with a Slice. Actually, since I can't defend, I will try to attack the Sentry first. Um, then let's do acrobatics, get rid of the tactician. Didn't draw the sneaky strike, which is unfortunate, but I could kill this guy actually with three energy too, right? In that case, let me do war cry first, get rid, gets rid of that. All right, there is the sneaky strike. So that plus the dagger throw is enough. Okay. And then I think what I'll do is I'll do calculate gamble and then deflect. Okay. Yeah. Now next turn I have to defend against 18. That might be that might be challenging, especially with the dazed in my deck. Oof, did not think of that. Let's do seeing red acrobatics. Get rid of this. Okay, there's a sneaky strike. Good. Slice deflect backflip. I have 14. Can I do something with calculate gamble? I don't have any discard anymore. Can I deal 14 damage? Uh, yes, yes I can. So dagger throw. Tactician, Sucker Punch. Okay, phew. That was, um, that could have gone wrong, but I got lucky. Actually, I didn't get unlucky. I don't think, I don't think there was a lot. It, it was very probable I could have fully defended here. I just, uh, didn't, I had to make sure I wasn't unlucky there. All right, perfect this one as well. We got back of preparation. That's really nice. At the Savage Combat, draw two additional cards as well as, yeah, still no defensive cards. Do I want to take Crippling Cloud just to add some weakness? I guess. All right, let me upgrade the acrobatics since it is always in my opening hand. I guess maybe not that necessary because I have bag of preparation, so my opening hand is already pretty full, but it can't hurt. Let's do seeing red, masterful stab, slice, deflect. 
Then I'll do acrobatics. I should have gotten rid of the tactician. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do sneaky strike, dagger throw. Get rid of this and then sucker punch flying knee kills. Okay. Finisher, predator, prepared. Finisher is not a bad idea. I do play a lot of it. Well, maybe not that many. Let's take the prepared instead. Okay. All right, so here, a defensive card, emulate. No, no, finesse would be much better. Neutralize is okay. Headbutt is fine. Uh, okay, definitely can't take the emulate. Sever soul, headbutt. Give me a finesse. No, clumsy. Do I want a curse? Clumsy is not the worst curse, and there is a chance I might go for the curse modifier. Fine, let's take the curse if I can't take, if I can't have the finesse. I really can't get into the last fight with only one backflip, so I really need something here. Uh, let's do prepare the tactician. Okay, free sneaky strike, slice um, acrobatics, mm -hmm. masterful stab, dagger throw. Actually, I could do calculate. Yeah, we'll get another. Um, well, actually, I realize I'm about to kill here. Mm -hmm. We got a liquid memories potion, which might be nice. Piercing will is good. Shrug it off is good. Because piercing will exhaust, I think I'll take the shrug it off because I really need some consistent block. I also am thinking of upgrading. Either the shrug it off or the backflip. Uh, let's go with the shrug it off. Okay. Really worried about the upcoming fight. Might have to rely on the liquid memories. Okay, so let's do slice. Um, prepare the tactician. Then um, dagger throw. Okay. Uh, seeing red is nice. Uh, let's do acrobatics. Um, get rid of the uh, clumsy, I guess. Okay, sneaky strike gives, allows me to transform. I think I'll do calculate gamble here. Yeah, I mean, as long as I can give away, keep going, I think I should. Oh, okay, speaking of keeping... Well, hang on, let's do backflip. Get rid of this, gain energy, slice flying knee, crippling cloud, and skewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six incoming. Okay, there's the uh, shrug it off, although I don't even need it. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Hang on, let me do deflect first and dagger throw. I could do sucker punch, that way he'll be weak in next turn. Let's do that. Um, so let me do... Oh, I can't do both sucker punch and sneaky strike. Yeah, let me just do shrug it off and then sucker punch. I think having him weakened next turn is more important. Okay. Unfortunately, now I'm reshuffling, so liquid memories is not going to be that valuable. But I got lucky with the shrug it off. That's exact. Well, actually, I guess he's weakened too, right? So it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, can I actually do the sneaky strike? Or should I do sucker punch again? Yes. Let's do sucker punch. Okay. And then, hang on. I have 13. Yeah, I'm fully defended. Let me see what I want to put back. Uh, yeah, let's put the acrobatics back. Okay. All right. So I only have to defend against 12 here. I have 10 already, and there is a deflect in my draw pile. So let's do slice acrobatics get rid of the tactician okay deflect so i could fully defend i could also just transform i don't need to transform though yeah so maybe i shouldn't uh let's do flying knee then dagger throw okay and then i think i'll do backflip all right that way i reshuffled my draw pile and i can do oh, actually i guess i don't need to do sucker punch uh but it doesn't hurt okay I'm playing a little carefully now. Unfortunately, the shrug it off is my draw pile, so I will try to get through this. Uh, sorry, discard pile. So I'll try to get through the draw pile as soon as I can. Let's do acrobatics, get rid of the tactician. Okay. Then sneaky strike. And I think again, I'll try to just deal damage here. Skewer. Hang on, let's do dagger throw first. Okay, I'm not going to do reflex. Uh, I don't want to reshuffle yet. And then just flying the and skewer. Okay. All right, nine incoming. Again, got lucky with the shrug it off. Um, yeah, let's just shrug it off. Then um, I think I'll do calculate gamble. Okay. And then I can do tactician. I'll, no, no, let me not do tactician. Let's instead do dagger throw. Uh, sorry, I meant I don't want to do acrobatics because I do want to reshuffle next turn. That way I'll get the backflip. Um, so hang on, I have 13. I can do one more attack. Uh, let's do the skewer. That'll only count once, right? Yeah, and that's a good amount of damage. Okay. I don't have much left to kill here, actually. 16. Yeah, I was worried about this. Um, 
So I could kill with the Master of Stab and Sneaky Strike, but I would need six block for that to happen. Let's do backflip first. Uh, calculate gamble is rough. Let me see what the um, Sucker Punch gives me. Yeah, I am actually with the Tori uh, with the Tungsten Rod. I wouldn't lose HP, right? So if I do Sneaky Strike and then a Master of Stab, I, I this should allow me to perfect. Yeah, phew, that was a close one. All right, perfect that one. We got an explosive potion, and I don't think giving up Popper for any of these is worth it, so let's stick with Popper. And then Curse Key would allow me to get the um, Curse Modifier, most likely. And I don't like the other relics so much. So yeah, fine, let's go for the Curse Key. Gain energy at the start of your turn. One of you open an on chest to obtain a Curse, so I really just need more card draw. I think that's the only way I can get a discard deck going. All right, one, two... Two elite paths if I start on the middle or right. If I start on the far right, I'll get one, two, three, four question marks. No shop. If I start in the middle, I'll get one. Oh, just one question mark and a shop. Yeah, let's definitely st stick on the right. All right, chosen. Um, let me do deflect. Master will stab. Free up my hand a little bit so I can play the sucker punch. Uh, I could just do flying sleeves, calculate gamble. Okay. Seeing red slice. Um, Dagger throw. Okay, there's a reshuffle and just... Oh, actually, I'm going to take some damage. Here, let's weaken and then do skewer. Okay. I haven't been counting cards, but I feel like sooner or later I'm definitely going to be able to um, play more than 20 cards. So combo should have been pretty doable. Um, and maybe against a giant head, I'll get overkill as well. Piercing well is pretty good here. I don't want the other cards. Okay. All right, the birds... So here, let's do Seeing Red, Deflect, Prepared, and then Sneaky Strike, Acrobatics, okay. Dagger Throw, get rid of this. Um, Masterful Stab brings one of them to the ground. I can do Sucker Punch, Flying Knee. Can I get another one to the ground? Yeah, I have a slice. Uh, perfect. And then I can get this guy to the ground with the Skewer. All right, awesome. That's what I like to see. This run is taking me a while though, right? What am I, 16 minutes already for Act 1? Not the fastest run. Let's do Crippling Cloud and then Slice. Kills this guy, that way I'm fully defended. Let me see what the Calculate Gamble gives me. Shrug it off, Masterful Stab, Deflect, and that's it, okay. Unseizing Top, I had that yesterday. If I have it today, if I get it today, that would be really nice too. Um, let's do Acrobatics. Get rid of the Reflex, okay. Sneaky Strike kills this guy and Skewer kills this guy, okay. Sneko Oil, yeah, I don't even want that. Um, So, again, there's a Finisher. Like, sometimes I play a lot of attacks. Uh, it is pre-upgraded. Headbutt might be better, though. Let's take the Finisher. I feel like, I feel like that could translate into a lot of damage sometimes. All right, so let me do Deflect War Crime. All right, then do acrobatics. Okay. All right, masterful stab prepared. Get rid of the curse. I didn't draw the um, the sneaky strike yet, right? That's a problem when you have a lot of a lot of cards. All right, I can do slice and then yeah, let's just do flying sleeves and finisher. I mean, thirty-two damage is not too bad for one energy. Mm -hmm. now I'm confused, which might be a problem, but there's a free sneaky strike. Which, unfortunately, I can't use because of Calculate Gamble. This is only 35, right? Uh, fine, let's... Well, actually, Sneaky Strike is free. And now I can kill. Awesome. I almost didn't see that, too. Dagger Throw Piercing Well, Wild Strike. I already have these two, and I really don't want Wild Strike because the wound will be a problem. I think I'll skip this one. I might not go for the um, Encyclopedia modifier. I might just go for Librarian then. There's curse number one. I didn't actually get one. As well as Sundial, every three times you shuffle a drop pile, gain two extra energy. That actually might be huge. I do shuffle my drop pile frequently enough. I mean, if I didn't take so many cards, this would be the perfect infinite. All right, let's start with seeing red slice. Get rid of the reflex here. Ac uh, Masterful stab first, then acrobatics. Um, I could do crippling cloud. I don't think I need this. So let's do a free sneaky strike first, and then crippling cloud. Mm-hmm. Deflect, Dagger Throw, um, and then let's keep this going for a little bit. I think I can do Skewer. Any reason to do Calculate Gamble? No, I think I'm going to put the uh, Calculate Gamble back. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there's a finisher. Yeah, this is an example of the finisher being somewhat useless, unfortunately. Uh, let's do backflip. That should be enough to fully defend. And then calculate gamble should give me energy as well. Prepared for card draw, then acrobatics. Uh, I don't think I need piercing whale. Let's kill this guy with a slice, sneaky strike, masterful stab, deflect, flying knee, and dagger throw. And sucker punch. I'm almost ready to kill here, right? Only need three more damage. Okay. All right. So war cry. I already have that. Flex and havoc. So havoc will exhaust the card. If it's like the sneaky strike, I'd be in a bad spot. Flex might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's take the flex. Again, I wish I had more card draw though. Crippling cloud upgrade is nice. Skewer upgrade is nice. Maybe a reflex. Yeah, that that translates into card draw potentially. Let's do that. All right, first lead on this act, Slavers. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Play the Flex. Deflect, then the free Sneaky Strike. I do have an Explosive Potion, which I should consider using. Let's do Acrobatics. Okay. I could do Crippling Cloud for Weakness 2. Masterful Stab, Crippling Cloud kills the Backliner with the Poison. That's pretty good. Um, and then Skewer does 27. Um, plus the Explosive Potion, that might not be enough. If I do shrug it off, I'll be fully defended though, right? Actually, I didn't need that because I only had 10 incoming and I had the tungsten rod, right? Let's do dagger throw and then uh, flying knee. Okay. And unfortunately, this guy's going to make me weaken next turn. All right. F um, what is that? 14 incoming. Let's do seeing red calculated gamble. Hope that I can get something better. Okay. Acrobatics. Get rid of the wound. Play the Sneaky Strike and Masterful Stab. Okay, the Poison uh, makes me able to kill this guy. And then if I do Skewer, that's going to be 35. That Actually, but I'm fully defended already. Yeah, let's just do Skewer here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 7. Get rid of the Reflex first because I need more card draw. Then get rid of the Tactician for energy. And then Slice is enough to kill. Good. Got the Incense Burner, it's really good every 6 turn, gain 1 Intangible, as well as, oof. If I wanted, I mean, this is perfect card draw, right? I don't think I need Concentrate. If I had more Reflexes, Concentrate would be better. I think, yeah. It's a shame, if I see a feed, I will take it and I just, you know what? I think, okay, I'm going to take the Offering and just remove it as shop, because it is just too valuable to let go. And then I wanted to review, okay, yeah, Instant Smurge is not a huge deal against the upcoming boss, but of course it's always nice. I don't want to upgrade that because I will try to remove it, and currently in its state it's also pretty valuable. I think next I'll upgrade the Crippling Cloud. Yeah, or actually, no, let me upgrade the Prepared. I was complaining about having card draw, so this will translate effectively into more card draw. Okay, got Normality, oof, that's rough. Uh, as well as the Action Peria, when a view between a curse increase your max should be by 6. Ooh, the normality is actually a huge problem because I have so much card draw, right? All right, next let's upgrade the skewer. Okay. All right, definitely don't want to lose all of my gold. This fight should be straightforward, unless I draw a normality, of course. Um, let me draw draw things first, then. I'll do flex, then acrobatics. Okay, perfect. I can get rid of the normality. All right. And then let's do slice and masterful stab. That's actually not enough to kill. But it gets me close. And then I could do Calculate Gamble. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. And then perfect. I wanted to play that Sneaky Strike. Let's attack the Backlander. Then Seeing Red. Gain Energy. Crypt oh, uh, two cards, right. Okay. Crypto and Cloud. And then um, let's kill this guy with Flying Knee. And then this already does 40 damage, right? So I can do Sucker Punch and then Finisher. Okay. Next turn I just need... But not even 8, just 5 damage. Okay, well, as long as I draw the normality... Uh, actually, here, let's do that just because I need any attack card. Alright. We got Red Mask, got Savage Combat, deploy one weak to all enemies. Another Explosive Potion, which I don't need. Rupture, Eviscerate, or Armaments. Eviscerate's actually really good here, right? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Well, this is curse number 3. I guess I'll do it. I uh, got the Decay Curse. I guess that also translates to max HP, so that's nice. All right. Always worried about not seeing the um, normality this early on. Uh, let me play Strike Crippling Cloud is not enough. I should get that Crippling Cloud upgraded, by the way. Massive Stab uh, and Crippling Cloud kills this guy. Right. Let's do Slice. 
I should have done flex first and acrobatics. Okay, phew, got rid of the normality. Then um, let's do flex, masterful stab. Uh, wait, how do I do want to do this? I want to play Crippling Cloud too, right? And there's also a finisher that I have. Um, oh, the backline is attacking. I didn't even notice. Okay, um, hang on. Let me do prepared first. Get rid of these two. Okay. And then Eviscerate does a good amount of damage too. Can I kill the backliner? Well, I, ha I have an explosive potion. I have Crippling Cloud, so that will kill the sneaky gremlin. And I just have to defend against 14, really, with the decay. So the backflip alone is not going to be enough. I do also have an offering, and there's still a deflecting shrug of my draw pile. All right, let's just play everything um, one by one. So let's do Sneaky Strike, then Eviscerate. Okay. I can actually get rid of the decay with the Dagger Throw. Let me do Masterful Stab. Finisher already does 40 damage. Let's do Dagger Throw. Okay. Sucker Punch, it's going to be 60 plus 9, 69. So I'll, I won't be... Actually, no, if I do Flying Knee and then Finisher, that's enough to kill. All right, awesome. Turn one kill. Mm -hmm. So far, I haven't even used the Offering. Got Calipers at the start of your turn. Lose 15 block rather than all of your block. As well as... I mean, not really Caltrops, right? Probably don't want to Evolve either. I think I might skip this one too. I mean, Caltrops is not bad. It's just not necessary. Fine, let's keep it. The problem is, by putting so much junk in my deck, it makes it harder to go for a true infinite. Alright, having normality on turn 1 is nice. Um, I can do flex. Then, um, let's put the tactician back. And then do acrobatics, get rid of the normality. Okay, prepared. Get rid of the tactician. And um, I don't think I need offering here. I think I can get by without it. Alright, so Eviscerate will get rid of the block on this guy. I also have Finisher. That should deal a lot of damage. Actually, Eviscerate kills the backliner, right? Exactly. Let's do that. I am uh, vulnerable here, but I think I should be fine. Let's do Dagger Throw. I could do Piercing Will for block. Slice. Uh, Finisher's only 30. Skewer is more than that. Um, yeah, I think I'll do Piercing Will. And then 30 versus... Actually, here, I can do Finisher first and then Skewer. No, oh, almost killed. Didn't notice. I just need 15 damage here. Let's do um, Sneaky Strike is enough, right? Okay. Got a Weakness Push, which I don't think I'll need. Oh, unfortunately, I got Incense Burn on the worst possible value because the upcoming boss doesn't attack on turn one. And I already have these two, and I don't want to take the Wild Strike, so let's skip this one too. Do I need a Weakness Push? And you know what? I'm going to take the Weakness Push and over the... Actually, no, I'll keep the Ancient Push because the upcoming boss does make me vulnerable. So let me upgrade that Crippling Cloud. I think that is important. Mm -hmm. Alright, Collector. There's a Normality. Good, I can get rid of it early. Uh, let's do Deflect. Prepared. Get rid of the Normality. And um, what else? I like the Finisher. Let's get rid of the Seeing Red. I don't think I need it here. Then do a free Sneaky... St Actually, let me see if I can draw the, um, the Flex. Yep, there it is. Okay, so Flex. Sneaky Strike for free. Eviscerate is free. Backs flip. Okay, Sucker Punch, Dagger Throw. Ooh, can't do Crippling Cloud here. Let's just do Caltrops and a Finisher for 60 damage. Not bad. Okay. All right, everybody's attacking me. 27 incoming. Oh, this is a bad hand. Oof. Okay, a lot depends on what I draw here. Okay, Calculated Gamble. Uh, see, the promise if I play Calculated Gamble. Then play the offering. I might get the normality, which would be a huge problem. Is there anything? Can I um, get something useful back with the liquid memories? Let me think. Acrobatics? Eh. It would draw too many things. It would reshuffle my draw pile again. Maybe maybe prepared. It seems such such, such a waste to use a liquid memories to get a prepared back, but that would... No, I still have the same problem, though. So I guess if I take the... Um, if I think they shrug it off and I get, I'll have 22 plus 5, 27, that'll be exactly enough. Let's play it safe because there is, as I said, a small chance I might draw the normality again and then lose the perfect that way. So let's not risk that. Um, let me war cry the flying, no, the offering. Okay, then I'll do calculate gamble. Okay, reshuffling and didn't get the normality. That's good. So let's do Sneaky Strike. I think I'll, I'll try to get rid of the minions. Slice, Dagger Throw. 
I think I'm okay. Wait, 27. Yeah, I think I'm okay with the Decay because I th should be able to kill one of the minions. So let's get rid of the Tactician and then Skewer actually kills the other minion. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, I'm not going to play the Offering. Too high of a chance of drawing the Normality. Okay, uh, he's. Uh, I forgot about my uh, Calipers, so he's summoning again now. Let's just shrug it off. Deflect. I mean, might as well do Crippen Cloud, right? No reason not to. Mm, yeah, not, not the best turn there. Okay, luckily I'm not getting attacked. So here I'm going to get a bad debuff. Uh, and I think Vulnerability comes first, so this will protect me a little bit against that. Uh, let's do Flex. Uh, I completely figured out that Flex would also give me a debuff. All right. At least I can get rid of the normality, so that's good. Uh, let's do Seeing Red. Backflip is risky. It could draw the normality. It didn't. Phew. Let's do Prepared. I don't think I need the Deflect here anymore. And I guess I also don't want the Sucker Punch. Let's do Acrobatics. Okay. And Tactician is pretty good. Let's do... Should I target the Backliner? Or kill one of the minions again? I think it's safe to kill... Hang on. 27 plus, uh, plus 14 is 41. Yeah, let's do Eviscerate Master of Stab to kill this guy. And then Slice... Flying Knee and Skewer. I wonder. Actually, 27... Yeah, I could have killed the Backliner. That, that might have been... Hopefully, that's not going to cause me to lose the Perfect here. Because I could have killed the Backliner there. Okay, luckily, I'm not getting attacked. There is a Normality here, which I can get rid of with the Dagger Throw. Okay. Then Sneaky Strike. And then Finisher for... Uh, here, let me see if I can just kill immediately. Yeah, if I do Finisher, the Poison will allow me to kill. Phew. Okay. That was a nail biter, but was able to perfect. Okay. All right, Berserk, Malaysia, and Venom. Yeah, I can safely skip all of these. So now I do need to hit a shop to remove that uh, offering. Runic Pyramid. The normality would really ruin that Runic Pyramid. Other than that, it actually would not have been such a bad idea. I don't think I need Buster Crown. Actually, Buster Crown. I definitely don't want Fusion Hammer because I still would like to upgrade a few cards. But should I do Busted Crown? In energy as I return, future card awards have two less cards to choose from. Let's do that because I don't actually look. I'm, I'm not looking for that many more cards. Well, I wouldn't mind some good defensive cards. That is still a problem. Right now in my deck, I only have the Backflip, Deflect, and Shrug it off as purely defensive cards. And I guess Piercing Well to a certain extent. That is. Actually, it's impressive that I'm perfecting everything so far. All right, two, two lead paths. If I start on the left, I'll get three, four, five question marks uh, with the possibility for an early shop. If I start on the right, I'll get two, three, four. Just four question mark, but then the shop is later. But yeah, no, I think I'll stick on the left. I only So far, I only have two curses, right? Which, oh, three. Never mind, I have three. All right, always a little worried when I don't have normality on turn one. Uh, let's do prepared. Get rid of these two. Then um, flex and then acrobatics. And perfect, I can get rid of the normality. Good. So then let's do a free sneaky strike. Okay. Slice dagger throw. Uh, probably don't need this. I could do a skewer. That would kill one of them. Um, or let's do finisher first, right? So let me do deflect. Sucker punch. Hang on. Finisher is already doing 40. So let's kill this guy. And then I can almost kill this guy. And I feel like I should be able to kill next turn. Don't need much. Although both of these guys will get block. Okay. I'm intangible here. Who's my final boss? I didn't notice that. It's the Awakened one. Okay, that's good. I don't have many powers I need to play. No discard synergy in this hand. That's uh, that's a rarity. Uh, let's just do Crippling Cloud. I guess I could still do the Eviscerate, right? I have the energy. Yeah, let me do Seeing Red and then Eviscerate. And then uh, yeah, Flying Knee was not enough, but fine. Okay, this guy's going to be dead and I just have to worry about the backliner. 24... So, Massive will Stab, Shrug it off. Uh, backflip. If I draw the Normality, I'll be... Yep, okay. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Skewer does a lot of damage. Massive will Stab and Skewer kills. Good. Okay, I got a Block Push and a Backstab. Yeah, I don't mind taking a Backstab. And then, yeah, let's go for the shop. I am afraid... Well, actually, I don't mind removing the offering because I barely... Use, actually, I don't think I used it a single time, right? So that was, that was sort of a waste. I guess that was good backup to have. Blur is a decent defensive card. Let's take that. 
I don't think I'll do field no pain, right? Because I barely exhaust anything. Clumsy exhausts. The backstab exhausts. Piercing well, war cry. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so I don't think I need that. I don't think I need Stone Calum in a sling of courage is nice. I just got lead combos to extra strength. Um let me see, do I need anything else? I mean I should probably spend all my gold, right? Let's take the sling of courage. And then I guess Stone Calendar doesn't hurt. I don't I'm not a huge fan of any of the cards, and I don't want to make my deck too large, although I do sh I, I should try to get to at least 35 cards. And with Busted Crown, that might be difficult. Let me do Dagger Spray for some AoE damage. Okay. And I could do Dropkick and Trip together. Sure, sure. Let's do Dropkick, Trip. And I think that's it. Yeah, 31. I'm, I'm getting there. And maybe take the Fear Potion just in case um, I need something to get that Dropkick going. Uh, well, if I take this... If I take this, I will lose my Highland modifier. I will get a good amount of max HP. I'll get five curses, so I'll exchange the hundred points from normality from uh, Highlander with the hundred points from curses. I'll get a lot of gold, but then the biggest problem is I have three normalities in my deck, and I'm not. Well, I guess I could exchange a question mark room for uh, for a shop, but no, no, I don't think I'll do that. This is too many normalities. I don't. Also, don't think I'll really need to upgrade things. Let's fight. Yeah, let's fight for the rare relic here. All right, so Hexaghost, let's do Trip, um, Seeing Red, Acrobatics, okay. And then Slice, Backstab, um, Dagger Throw, mm -hmm. Massive Stab, Deflect, uh, Eviscerate. I, I was hoping to be able to discard something else. Uh, let me do Backflip, I guess. Okay, all right, fine. Let's do Eviscerate, and then I'll just do Skewer. Okay. It's actually going to attack me for, yeah, 4 times 6. Uh, well, Piercing Well is perfect here. So Piercing Well, prepared, get rid of this and this. I guess I could have done the um, the uh, Dropkick, right. Let's do Caltrops, that will give me a lot of block, Blur, and Dagger Spray. Okay. Actually, the Caltrops deals 30 damage back, that's nice. 6 incoming. Um, I can't discard anything again, yeah. One, I think that's pretty much the only time where um, the Sneaky Strike is a little useless. Um, and actually, well, Finisher does as much damage. Let's do Sneaky Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Intangible here. Uh, let's do... Well, let's just do the Calcate Gamble. Okay. And then... Um, a little struggling here. Let's get rid of... The, oh, I should have gotten rid of the Tactician. Uh, the Normality, I mean. I can do that now. And then let's do Masterful Stab, Crippling Cloud, Prepared. Okay. And then let's do Trip. Actually, yeah, I'm, I was overthinking it. I already have not had enough damage. Fast Ice Helix is very nice. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. As well as, sure, I'll take an Iron Wave. I do need to get to 35 cards, so might as well. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, the Bomb. No, I skipped that one. Jack of All Trade might be fine. Uh, fine, let's take Panacea, let's take Jack of all trades. Uh, I mean, could be worse, so I'm, I'm okay with those choices. Ooh, I got another shop, unfortunately. I have barely any gold. If I knew I was gonna... Well, would I have taken the 99 gold here if I knew this was a shop? I mean, I knew I could have removed... Actually, I might have, right? Because I could have removed one normality there, and then I could have gone for the shop to remove the other normality. So yeah, if I knew, I might have done that. Um, I already have this one, this one, and this one. I don't think I need anything else. I mean, I should buy something, I guess. Does Rampage work in this deck? It is kind of large. Purity is great. Actually, Purity would allow me to get rid of cards. Yes, that is totally worth uh, most of my gold. Almost all of it. All right, Nemesis. Um, let's start with Flex prepared. Get rid of these two. Okay, and then um, let's do Sneaky Strike for free. Backstab, Slice, Masterful Stab, Acrobatics. Okay. Uh, I do have to worry about a little bit about block here. Uh, let's do Deflect. And actually, well, I'll lose my buffer first, but that's fine. See, I can't do cal uh, Backflip because that might give me a normality. I'm actually fine with the Clumsy. Let's put back... Um, actually, let's put the back the Calculate Gamble. Panacea, Crippling Cloud... Actually, I could fully defend with the backflip, right? 
And sure, let's do Caltrops. Finisher actually does a good amount of damage. I didn't realize that. Yeah, let's do Dropkick and then Finisher. Okay. Yeah, definitely want to keep the buffer for the big attack, which might be incoming. Yep, there it is. Uh, let's do Seeing Red Trip. And then probably just do Skewer. I mean, it only deals 6 damage, but better than nothing. Alright, there goes my buffer. And then here I should be able to kill with the Eviscerate, right? Alright. We got Prey Will. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. As well as Body Slam, which I definitely don't need. Well, not definitely. Actually, no. No, in this deck I barely have any defensive cards, right? Let me upgrade that Purity. I'm actually a huge fan of that. Let me first see if there's nothing else I need to upgrade. Yeah, no, I think maybe the Trip. No, let's, let's start with the Purity. My hope is to drop Purity and Normality in the same turn. And then get rid of it and not have to worry about that anymore. And then turning left for one more elite. Okay, so here let's try to get the overkill modifier. So I need to play a lot of cards. Um, let's do Panacea. See what the acrobatic gives me. Uh, well, if I draw the normality, I won't be able to get rid of it. So let me get rid of this. Okay. Ah, surprising. Not enough uh, discard synergies in this hand. Yeah, that does mean I can't really go for the uh, overkill modifier in this particular turn. So I think I'll just do Crippling Cloud and, um, sure, Sucker Punch and Max Stab. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nine incoming. Uh, oh. Am I losing my buffer here? I think so. Uh, wow, alright. Let's do Flex, Slice, uh, actually, Seeing Red first, then Slice, and then Skewer. Uh, do I want to lose my buffer or should I drink the Block Potion? I think I still have a lot of space um, to the boss fight. Let's drink the block potion here and then just do skewer. Yeah, hopefully I'll save that buffer for one of the big attacks. Okay, intangible here. Let me see if I can draw the normality and then get rid of it with the purity. I could not. If I draw it now, it'll be too late. Um, so fine, let's get rid of this and um, this. Okay, jack of all trade gives me, uh, master of strategy could draw me the normality. It's very likely, actually. I guess I can just do Eviscerate. Then Finisher. And then Calculate Gamble. Yeah, should have done the Master of Strategy. Might, as, might have as well used it. Alright, still didn't draw Normality. I'm somewhat surprised. Also, I haven't done, dealt a lot of damage, which is unfortunate. Let's do Trip, Blur, Piercing Whale. Dropkick. Mm, Warcry, see what I get. Uh, you know what? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's get rid of the normality. I might be able to um, to discard it next turn. Mm -hmm. 22. Yep, there it is. So I can do dagger throw, get rid of it first. Then trip, sneaky strike for free. Shrug it off. I don't think I can fully defend here, right? Yeah, so I think I might have to rely on my buffer. Could have considered calculate gamble. I don't think I would have made a difference though. Okay, there goes my buffer, and at this point, I'm in a position where I might die fairly easily. So, let's do Flex Deflect Acrobatics. Mm, I think I'll do another Prepared. Try to draw a good hand. Prepared. Get rid of this, and... Oh, actually, I could Decay the Purity, but or Purity the Decay, but I don't think I need to. Uh-oh. I haven't played that that many cards. 29 times 4 is about 120. He's already vulnerable. I guess this... Well, hang on. Let's do... Hmm, let's do Flying Knee. Then Finisher. 27. Oh, 31. No, the Skewer is better than the Finisher. So it's 31 times 3. That's 93. With the 10 here, it'll be 103. That's not enough. Um, I am very close to dying here. I don't even have a rest side coming up. All right, I think I have to try to preserve as much HP as possible. So let's do Iron Wave, then Finisher for more than 33. Okay. And then 35. Okay, never mind. Explosive Push and does it. Phew, all right. Perfect this one. Didn't get combo or overkill though. We got Happy Flower. Three turns, get extra energy. I don't think I can do Bane. It'll only work after the... Yeah, actually, I already have 35 cards. I don't need more. Okay. Oh, no. Another Normality. This could have been my fourth one, right? I could have gotten a Collector Bonus of that. We got Mumfat Hand. One of you play a Power Card. Ram Card in your hand because zero that turn. That means I have to go to the shop and remove it. I can't not do that. 
Uh, Turner Malleus also makes the planning much harder. Um, let me, uh, well, let's start with the backflip, then acrobatics. Uh, let me keep the normality. I can purity it out. Uh, so let's get rid of, um, I don't know, tr yeah, trip can stay. Uh, get rid of this, I guess. So get rid of the normality. That's it. And then flex, panacea. Keep the strength that way. See what the caltrop sets to zero. Okay, trip. Shrug it off. Could draw me another normality. Luckily, did not. And this will deal a good amount of damage. Let's do that. Actually, that's enough to kill. Good. Got an essence essence of steel potion outmaneuver. Is interesting, but I don't think necessary. Pommel strike is better for card draw. Okay. All right. Got the spiker. I have to worry a little bit about this guy. Um, let me yeah, see. I need the trip upgraded. Let's do seeing red first and acrobatics. Okay. And then let's do uh, actually let me do sneaky strike first. Okay, then prepared. Get rid of this and um, dagger spray might be nice. So I do need some block first. Okay. Then let's do trip and crippling cloud might be the best thing to do here. Let's see what the war cry gives me. Eviscerate is nice too. Okay, uh, let me put the dagger spray back. Ideally, I'd actually never mind. I'm gonna draw it again, right? Oh, hang on. Yeah, actually, I don't have any blocks, so I can't kill the uh, the spiker. Let's kill everybody else pretty much here. Let's do eviscerate for free, then dagger throw. Okay, and then can I kill this guy? Yes, I can with the finisher, right? Let's do drop kick. Uh, hang on, backstab is enough to kill this guy. Finisher, and then crippling cloud. Okay. Yeah, I was a little overthinking this, but I, I am trying to avoid taking damage. Okay, let's do shrug it off. That allows me to well and blur. Okay, and then I can do. Let's see if the calculate gamble gives me something better. Masterful stab. Okay, that wasn't actually better, but fine. Actually, if I wait, the poison should be almost enough. Um, actually, with skewer, this is enough. Good. Okay, we got a cunning potion. That might be good. Um, don't eat the bane still and power through the wounds will be tough, but it is a nice defensive card. And I have the um, I have the purity. Let's take it. I'll try to avoid playing it unless it's necessary, but I'm sure it might be necessary. And then I have to skip this question mark room and go for the uh, shop, right? So I have one, two, three, four curses and they're not unique. I guess yeah, no, it's not worth the gamble. If this was another curse, I would have gotten the the curse modifier, but not the Highlander modifier. And um, I'd rather go for the Highlander and also not have to, um, what do you call it, normalities in my deck. So I think that's that's the right decision. Uh, let's do Blur Acrobatics. Okay. All right, perfect. And I can get rid of one of the normalities. And that's it. Okay. Then do Prepared. Didn't get anything else. Probably don't need Panacea or Jack of all trades. Okay. And then Slice. Criminal Cloud is nice. Let's do that. And then Backstab is enough for me to not take any damage. Uh, Sucker Punch for an extra turn of weakness is nice. Too. Good. Uh, nice too. So yeah, now he's going to be weakened for almost all turns. Um, let's do Trip. Deflect Dagger Throw. Get rid of the Normality. And then this sets the shrug it off to zero, and I'm fully defended. And I didn't even need that. Okay. 37. Probably just do a skewer here, right? No need to overthink it. It's a lot of damage. Okay. And I can keep the seeing red for later. 45. Next one, he won't be weakened anymore. Should I do power through here? Let me do backflip first. I still have the buffer, right? Yeah, as long as I can fully defend here. Let's do Eviscerate. Okay, and then power through. Uh, and that way I am not yet fully defended. Let's do Calculate Gamble. And now I'm fully defended. Uh, the Decay would have caused me to lose my buffer. And then here I can just... Oh, never mind. I'm intangible anyway. Okay. All right, so... Backflip, nope, can't take a second one and don't need a perfected strike. Okay, and then you have to unfortunately go for the shop, but first let me remove the normality. Is there any reason I should look at the cards? No, no, I'm just going to remove the normality and not even worry about what else I have. Okay, so I end up with only three curses. Can I? Well, I could afford a clash, but I don't think I, I can really use it. Okay, so still have Highlander, don't have the curse modifier, and still have a few curses that I ideally would get rid of, but what can you do? 
Uh, let's do backstab acrobatics. I didn't get normality. Get rid of this. Okay, so then let's get rid of the decay. All right. And then, uh, yeah, so just attack, master will stab. Pummel, uh, pummel strike was dangerous. Uh, I could have drawn the normality. I probably should have avoided doing that. And then sucker punch for him to be weakened next turn. And then dagger spray. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18. Uh, let's get rid of the normality and the tactician. Very nice. Oh, right. No card draw. Um, okay. Trip. I don't want to do power through, but I don't really have a choice. If I do the piercing well, it's going to be 19 with weakness. That's going to be uh, 5 less, right? So it's going to be 14, and I have 13. So I'm still going to lose my buffer either way. So fine. I'll do the power through instead. Okay. The wounds might get annoying. All right. So let's do Deflect, Jack of all Trades. Ooh, Apotheosis is very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. 16, I am fully defended here. Let's double up on the Panacea. Actually, let me do, yeah, Panacea and then Flex. That way I'll still have one of those. Dagger Throw. Yeah, I don't need that. Sneaky Strike at 3 and Crippling Cloud. Okay. Not dealing damage as quickly here. Not sure. I think I just drew things in a... In an unfortunate order. Yeah, for example, now I can't discard the tactician and can't gain extra energy. But I think that's fine because I can still do slice, eviscerate, and then skewer. Okay. Yeah, the extra energy from the busted crown is pretty nice, I have to admit. Um, let's gain even more strength than prepared. Get rid of these two. Sneaky strike and then dagger throw with the poison is enough to kill. Actually, let me just kill here. All right. Okay, we got a Cultist Potion. Oof, that might be very tempting, but I am happy. Okay, fine, I'll get rid of the Fear Potion. Don't need another Sneaky Strike and don't need another Piercing Well. Okay. All right, next upgrade. Trip is nice, although not super necessary. Flex might be better. Let's take the Flex upgrade. Okay. All right, so I'll keep the uh, Cunning Potion until I have the um, Finisher in my draw pile, in my, in my hand. So let's drink this right away and this, okay. All right, um, let me see. I could play the power through and then get rid of the um, of the wounds with the purity. That might be a good idea. So let's start with backstab, okay. Then power through, then play the purity. Get rid of these, okay. Then do acrobatics, get rid of the normality, good. Um, and then I can gain energy with the dagger throw, right? So let's do trip, sneaky strike, drop kick. Okay. Then dagger throw, get rid of this, deflect, pummel strike. Okay. Flex is nice. Sucker punch, backflip. And then I'll do flying knee. Okay. Uh, let me see what the Warcry gives me. Uh, skewer next turn is fine. Iron Wave might be more necessary, though. I'm really worried about not being able to fully defend. I still have a buffer, though, so that'll help. Okay, that's a lot of incoming. I don't have any card draw. I sort of needed the Piercing Well here. What to do, what to do. So I have 12 block. I need way more, though. Even the buffer is not going to help me, right? I think I'm just out of... Well, hang on. I gained some block out of from the Iron Wave here. Let's do Dagger Spray. Iron Wave. So how much do I have? 19. 24. Okay, okay. Yeah, the buffer does it. Uh, I have to drink the Cunning Potion, though. I have to get rid of this minion. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not how I wanted this to go down, but what can you do? I lost my buffer early here. Okay, there's a Blur. That's good. Let's do... How am I doing on time, by the way? 52. Okay. Let's do Prepared. Reflex is nice. Uh, definitely need the Blur. Let's get rid of the Slice then. Okay. There's a Finisher. I do have Shrug It Off. Okay. So Shrug It Off allows me to be fully defended. I might still do the Blur, though. Jack of All Trades gives me a Transportation, which I'll do at the end. Let's do Masterful Stab. Panacea is always nice. Then I think I'll do Blur Eviscerate. Finisher is only 20 damage. Fine, let's do Finisher and then see what the Transmutation gives me. Ooh, a free Apotheosis is super worth it. Okay, yeah, that Apotheosis might help me out here quite a bit. Okay, 15, I'm fully defended here. 
Um, all right, let's do flex for permanent strength. Then should I just do skewer? Maybe a crippling cloud. Yeah, the weakness would be nice. Let's do crippling cloud. Dagger spray does more, right? Dagger spray first and then skewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. 16. Let me do the uh, pummel strike first, then acrobatics. That will allow me to get rid of the normality. Uh, perfect. And yeah, I can gain energy with the dagger throw again. So let's do trip, sneaky strike, massive stab. I should be able to kill with the finisher here, right? So let me plan ahead. Next turn, I still have a power through my draw pal. It's definitely risky, but um, let's see what the shrug it off gives me. Blind. Yeah, I mean, it's not super necessary. Um, let's do dagger throw. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter how 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 many charges of the finisher I have. Yeah, let's just kill. Okay. Uh, this is difficult. Oh, I'm intangible. I didn't even remember that. Okay, good. Uh, well, well, actually, let me pretend that I totally remember that and this was totally planned. But, wow, got super lucky there. Expensive eviscerate is nice. Okay. I should still have a bunch of uh, defensive cards here. Okay, I got backflip and blur. That should be enough to defend. Let's see what the cal drop hits. Okay, drop kick is fine. Let's do blur backflip. Okay, I mean, might as well do drop kick. Oh, well, let's do prepared first. Mm, not happy that the deflect is going to be in my uh, reshuffle. I could actually get rid of this and then play the seeing red and do a pretty good skewer. That's 100 damage. Still, I am worried I did not get either the combo or the um, overkill modifier, which seems a shame in this type of deck, right? Let's do blind. Okay, 21. I have 21. Exactly. Good. Uh, I mean, I still do the blur, sucker punch. I can just play everything here. Okay, I forgot I have 12 strength. All right, the um, ritual potion definitely helps here. Uh, this would be enough to kill. I am a little amazed at myself. I perfected everything. Very happy with that. Didn't get overkill in combo though. 1257. Let's see. Yep. Six out of six beyond perfect. So I should have probably tried to go for combo early on. On act one, I'm sure there will be at some point I could have gotten it. Should have been pretty doable with this particular deck. Probably before I started filling it up. I, I think at the point where the deck was maybe like 15 cards or so, I, I should have just focused on it and done it. Um, and then the overkill, if I hadn't gotten lucky against the giant head i think that would have been doable but ultimately it just didn't work out but yeah i did get popper i think that was useful um could have gotten curses but then i would have to lose the highlander so i think that's fine speed's just fine too yeah overall i mean i'm happy with this run it was i think the first time i really had like a pure discard synergy deck but ultimately look at that didn't even make it to the top 20 i am 54th i perfected everything and i'm 54th oh actually i'm tied with the bird yeah exactly same score um, I'd be curious though with sealed deck there's always a wide variety of uh, scores I'd be or a strategy so I'd be curious if the bird went for the same strategy or something else but wow I am I have to admit I'm disappointed perfecting everything so wait Warpal got 1332 I had 1257 1332 so that's about 75 points more I wonder how uh, well overkill combo and speedster or playing faster that that's exactly 75 points so I guess theoretically that seems very doable how can I get more than that, though? Actually, yeah, I think if, if you get overkill combo and then the um, the speed modifier, you're already sort of at a pretty high score. And then getting above that, I wonder if somebody got lucky and just was able to get unique curses. That, that is definitely possible. Um, but yeah, that wasn't me. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you did. I, I think for... Uh, actually, here, let me embark again just to show the sealed deck that was offered. I'm just trying to think if there's another strategy I could have gone to, but but no. The problem was that there's no defensive cards. So basically, you have to pick cards that will allow you to kill as quickly as possible. And I think the discard synergy deck was probably the best way to do that. Yeah, I can't think of another strategy. But let me know in the comments if I missed something or if um, you also went for a sort of discard deck and uh, if you did anything else to get a higher score. So thanks for watching. Bye.